Yeah, everybody's, uh, man, I guess everybody really want to put uh, a real kind of good grace over me. Everybody know who I am, I guess now, I'm Triple A. I just got off the phone with, uh, I don't know, I guess I'd have to say my road dog, you know what I mean? We just, uh, I've been watching his videos for so long. The name of the, the rapper is called Hopskins. You know, he's a Joker's boy. But uh, he was telling me he's going to put my number in his phone. It's like, man, you know, it's like everybody want this. Yeah, I guess they figure Obama's going to be leaving next year. They want to push for me harder and harder. Man, my homegirl pushing me up. You know, like I say, my queen of linen is pushing me more and more. I never forget what this guy told me. He said, you know, he told me one time, it's about maybe three, maybe four weeks ago, maybe five, probably longer than that. But he said, true champions take chances. You know, everybody knows I struggled with my reading, struggled my whole life. So, I mean, my reading is not what you say above average, like way up there. You know, not college material, if that's what y'all think. But uh, I'm getting there, you know. I got this thing I got to get up out of this job I'm at because I can't really progress there. So once I get up out of that and uh, I move up out of that, you know, and win this lottery because everybody know my golden train is coming. I just don't know when that <laughs> it'll be coming. But uh, it's like, damn, you know. I guess, what could I say to the rap game? Well, I never really had any animosity towards anybody. And I know my raps are very different. You know, it's very wild. A lot of people look at me and be like, damn, you know, that's the way this guy just do it. You know, he makes these songs. He don't really diss, but you can't really overlook him because it's like everything he say is just, damn, that shit is psychotic. But, uh... You know, I guess that's how it is, you know, when you're a different artist that just comes out of nowhere. Everybody's seeing it. You know, they see it more and more every day. You know what I mean? I even do these videos in my bed just talking sometimes. But, um, what could I say? Well, it's not like I made any money from this hip-hop yet. But, uh, all I can say is... I'm, Gonna try my best, cause I know being a third king, I gotta like, you know, if I'm gonna be claiming that legacy, I guess with Tupac and uh, Michael Jackson, I gotta try my hardest to obtain every goal as a rapper and uh, stay true to my colors. Because if I'm gonna be claiming to be the third king, that ain't gonna be easy. But I'm going to try my best. And, uh, you know, everything I always told everybody in my rhymes, you know, standing up for people that's artistic, people that's special, people that's different. You know, I'm going to really try my best and uh, do the right thing in this hip hop business. You know, I'm not going to uh, do anything to abuse the business or abuse my body or myself. I'm going to stand up for every belief that I always said and uh, stay true to the game. Because I know you ain't true. People will put your ass out there in a heartbeat, so I dig a fake. You know what I mean? But I ain't got time for all of that. You know, like I always say, music, like a lot of songs, because I'm still like learning my craft. You know, I've been doing this my whole life. You know, a lot of people think, well, damn, you know, he must have been rapping. You know, we never heard of this damn AAA. But uh, I've been rapping technically since back in the early millennium, maybe early 90s, when me and my brother used to uh, order WWE when it, before the WWE Network was out. We'd order a lot of the pay-per-view matches. You know, we also saw Mike Tyson, Holyfield, and all that stuff back then. That's what real boxing was about back then, back in the days. But uh, uh, Mayweather's pretty good, too. 
You know, I ain't got no uh, disagree with none of them. You know, the guys that's in it now. But, you know, I was a fan of Mike Tyson. You know, and all that Holyfield scrabble back then. You know, I'm old school. But, uh, let's see. Well, ain't really much I can say. I know everybody's putting a lot of spark in me. You know, my homegirl is probably one of the reasons why I kind of push. You know, I saw this psychic lady. She told me that, you know, my craft was kind of put on hold for a while. I was so much into trying to study other artists because I always knew I had the flow. But when it came to, like, making hooks the way I'm doing now, oh, man, it's not easy. Like, I'm still trying to, like, learn it myself. Because that's what the guy was saying on Hustling Flow and Empire. He said that the, they said to him, you can make all this good music. But if you, unless if you don't know how to make a hook, you know, and you just freestyle, 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 and all that other stuff, and rap, 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 you got to know how to make good music and make a good hook. And that's what I try to do. Even though I may drop like 9, 13, 12 songs, I always said that, you know, my once I got into business, my work ethic was going to be crazy. Sometime I wish I could do it and just drop 100 songs a day. I ain't up there yet. See, my whole thing is I got to have confidence. My homegirl is the reason why I called you up, Hopskins. If it wasn't for our niche, I wouldn't have had no heart to do all of that. And to text you all that stuff. You know, I'm just like what you call a shy jitterbug. But I'm getting there, though. You know, don't go to sleep on me. Triple A's getting there. I know a lot of people say, Dad, you ain't hardly shy. Because all the raps you got, man, that shit is Bombay. With some of that shit. But uh, I guess that's the fans and the critics. But uh, I'm going to try my best. You know, hip-hop is... um. Something that's going to be a, a beautiful thing. And uh, I know I'm going to be the hero. Do I have the passion to keep this going as much as I am? Yes. I mean, I, I oh, miss every damn day. I'd be going through the emotions at my job. They'd be trying to do a bunch of nonsense. I'd be rocking shit in my head. Damn. This is so much of stuff. You know, I got flows for days, man. A lot of psychotic shit. You know, shit that... That's why they probably say my style is more like a... Uh, what you call like one of those rebellious type slave shit warriors that will rock the ship. The guy that they couldn't kill that's freed all the slaves that died with old age and said he was going to be another one that was going to come after him. and A successor and all that. They really actually believe in all that stuff. You know, some of it is true. I mean, if you look at all the history with our ancestors, everybody know what time it is. And you did have some good white people that got their head bashed in that tried their best to look out for us. You know how it is. Anybody with any type of knowledge a little bit more up here, they scared of. You know, they don't really want us to do all of that. I mean, they say it, but one thing to pursue it and pursue it, come on now. Everybody know. But uh, peace out, Hopkins. Everybody in the rap game. I'm going to try my best. Every challenge is a challenge. That's what stars are made of. Heroes. So all these beefs, you know, everybody that, that kind of hate me for whatever reason. And I love it. You know, history is speaking louder for themselves every day. I mean, everybody knows AAA. I, I was the first rapper to do it in the first month that I started. But remind you guys, I was rapping way before I started that first month. But, you know, like, with Anisha, see what happened with all this nonsense with my ex that y'all heard about, Light Up World. You know, Anisha was the best one that was there for me. So, you know how it is. When you got a girl that tell you a bunch of stuff, the girl that you with, you don't know that's full of shit. And the one that you want to be with, that is real, that you will do, be with someday, is the one that keeps pushing you, pushing you, pushing you. It's like, damn. 
I love that shit about my homegirl. She, she's putting a lot of spark into me. But I guess if I'm going to be the hero, you know, heroes, that's what they do. You know what I mean? Everybody want a hero. There ain't no doubt about it. If I do what I say with all the stuff that I'm going to attribute to the business, damn. I mean, like I always say, you know, everybody knows that we need a music countdown. 106 and Park is gone. My Zero the Hero Network has something to do with that. You know, I always say, I could talk all day, but I don't want to get into too much of what I'm going to do until it happens. But all I can say is, if everybody studies me long enough, they're going to love me. Because if the music could get back to the kind of the way it was, everybody going to have money regardless. But a lot of these record producers, you know, as far as with the stories I hear from some of my brother's friends, you know, they promote these artists. They first come out, they got that buzz. Then after the first or second two albums, they fall off because the producers don't want to promote them no more. They don't know what to do with the artists. But um, if I could be that type of hero to change just that alone and half of the other stuff I'm going to do, then you know I'll do something great. But like they say, time has to tell. You know, I need every challenge to, to progress me up to that next level. I know a lot of people going to hate because my music is like a, a crazy madness. Some shit that nobody can understand with me, the artist myself. Just like it may be some stuff that these other artists may not understand but themselves. It's like vice versa. But uh, we just got to see. You know, one of my other goals, I wouldn't mind making a song with Tech 9 uh, Joker, as well as Hopkins. It would be a crazy dynamic song because we got some crazy styles. But, you know, everybody, you know, got to be greed to work together and band it all together. And that's why I say this hip hop is more bigger than all of us. But everybody got to be willing to work together. So, uh, peace, guys. This is Triple A giving a shout out to everybody in the music business. I'm not coming yet. I know everybody want it because they probably want all that stuff to change. You know what I mean? But I'm the hero. Not yet. But it's coming, though. Peace.